I'm Elisa Fay, and today is December 1st, which means it is time to start opening up this amazing advent calendar that my cousins in Iowa sent me. They made the whole thing themselves after seeing prior years of mediocre at best advent calendars that I've opened here on the channel. We're gonna take a look at the advent calendar. What you're gonna see in this video is a compilation, me every day opening up the gift for that day on the advent calendar. Before I begin, I would like to send a huge thank you to my cousins in Iowa, Tony, Angela, Nathan, Mia, and Haley. Thank you again so much for this calendar. I am so excited, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Here's the advent calendar. It's amazing, you guys. <laughs> All of the gifts are wrapped in these Christmas themed bags and then they have number labels on them and then they're tied with a piece of Christmas yarn. Um, they're all very well coordinated and we're gonna start with day number one today. Day number one, let's see if I can identify the first theme. <gasps> it's a cat cookie cutter. I love cats, I have a cat themed Christmas tree right here. <laughs> Already this is so great, thank you guys. It's day number two, number two. And there's bubble wrap. What is this? Ooh. Gusto Pizza Company Pizza Seasoning Blend. I do enjoy making my own pizza. Basil, fennel seed, garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. This smells amazing. Like, you can smell it just through the jar. Gusto Pizza Company. And it looks like it's a local company in um, Des Moines, Iowa. Ooh, great. And sauces, sandwich spreads or on top of pizza. Day three, deceptive because it's like flat, but it's heavy. <laughs> popcorn. You know, okay, I see, I see the theme here. This is an Iowa brand of popcorn. There's two bags of microwave popcorn, and this is Farmer's Best Premium White Popcorn, traditional butter flavor, and little Iowa on the package. So I'm guessing this is an Iowa brand. Worthington, Iowa. Day four. cat ornament. Look at it. Oh, and this is perfect because it can go on my black cat tree. It almost looks like an otter because <laughs> it's laying down and it's clutching a star, but, it, but it's a cat. We're going to hang this on the tree. It is the perfect addition to the black cat tree. Number five is kind of little. Number five is two things. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I haven't even looked at this one yet. Okay. This is is this a magnet? It says, you've cat to be kitten me right meow. Oh, that is like, that's so perfect. And it has, the cat is just like. The other one is the greatest cherry lip balm in the universe. Between you and me, I eat this when I feel sad. This is made with love in beautiful Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The ingredients are fantastic. It fits two of the, actually it probably fits three of the themes. So, so the themes that we have identified on the calendar are cats, Iowa, and food. Iowa, because it's made in Iowa. It has a little cat on there, and it also is cherry, so it's like ingredients. I have day number six here. I am at the parking garage at SFO right now, and it's 6 a.m., and I'm really tired, and I need to chug some coffee and then go and catch my flight. Beautiful sunrise right here, and it's fuzzy. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're Christmas cat socks. They're so soft, too. I'm bringing these on my trip. <laughs> My flight leaves in two hours, so I gotta get going. I'm back from my trip, and I am back to the advent calendar. So we're gonna get caught up now, day seven. Two things in here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. And it's chocolate. <gasps> They're corn. <gasps> How cute is this? Look, it's like it's like little baby corn. Um. Fun fact, I really like baby corn. <laughs> really one of the best parts of any salad bar. This is so cute. It doesn't smell like corn though, it smells like chocolate. Three chocolate corns in here. Look at the chocolate corns, you guys. So this is from a place called Chocolaterie Stam. I'm assuming this is a local place for you guys. The other thing in there is more chocolate. There's a little Christmas tree on the front there. Inside we have a little assortment of chocolates. Classic chocolate Santa right there. And then we have some little truffles in here. They look so good, they smell really good. This is from a place called Chocolate Storybook and it's in West Des Moines, Iowa. It's a little bit later in the evening and I'm just like 
way too full. So maybe tomorrow I will be having that. Day number eight. I think this is probably the flattest one. I was like, where is, I reached my hand in and I didn't feel what was in there. I hit the bottom of the bag because it's up against the side. This is a coaster. <laughs> Des Moines, French for the Moines. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be my preferred coaster now. <laughs> Day number nine is this triangular shaped package. So, this is another ornament. It is a box wine ornament. <laughs> That is so funny. I love the little spigot on the side there too. It doesn't really fit with the cat tree, but I think I'm gonna add it to the cat tree anyway. It's right here, it's not focusing, but it is on the cat tree. Here's day 10. These are wine lives. They are wine markers and they go around the stem of your glass. I love anything that is like wine and cat themed, so. Um, they come in very realistic cat fur colors, such as black, which is my favorite, blue cat, which is also just a very realistic fur color. <laughs> that is so thoughtful. I love that. This is going to be a fun accessory to use. So we have number 11 now, and this is kind of a bigger one. This is, this is kind of big. It's also very squishy. And it's an Iowa State dance t-shirt. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So my cousin Mia is on the Iowa State dance team. So this is an Iowa State dance t-shirt. Thank you so much. And this is like a good size. This is a soft shirt too. Number 12. And so we'll be all caught up. It's a bean bag, it's a pumpkin, it's a, it's, oh, here we go. We, we can read tags. This is an orange cranberry muffin mix. And that sounds delightful, does it not? And it's in this little beanbag type of bag, <laughs> which, which is an orange <laughs> from the old muffin factory in West Des Moines, Iowa. This sounds really good. It sounds like just very fall, wintry. We are all caught up now and it's gonna be business as usual for the remainder of the calendar, really. Lucky number 13. More bubble wrap. The small bottle of some sort. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Spicy pickle vodka, the original pickle shot. Dude, guys, what is this? Have you, I've never heard of this type of booze before and I consider myself well versed on booze. Is this like the equivalent of drinking pickle juice? Except like alcoholic pickle juice? <laughs> Bottled by the original pickle shot, Des Moines, Iowa. If I wasn't already drinking wine, I feel like the flavors would clash. It says, great in cocktails, even better as a shot, chill and serve. Party time! <laughs> it's day 14 today, and this is kind of a, like the previous one was kind of squishy. This is, I don't know what to think of this one. I don't want to squeeze it too hard, of course. Too. Oh my gosh, okay, so <laughs> it says grouchy kitty jumbo stress ball and we know I've got some stress going on here. Soft and squishy, 100% fun. Pretty much anything cat related is 100% fun. That goes without saying. It, look at its tiny little legs. <laughs> it feels really good, you know? <laughs> look at its little tail. And you can just squeeze it. Whoa, that's, that was not flattering. Okay, and just squeeze it. It's kind of like a bouncy ball in that you can like tap on it and bounce it. It kind of jiggles. Day number 15. I see bubble wrap. Oh, this is potentially very useful. Wine glass to go. Pop it off and then you remove that and then just screw the pieces together. That's not a clever design, I don't know what is. Have a highly functional travel on the go wine glass. This is great for if you need like an emergency purse wine glass. Yeah, these are scenarios that happen quite frequently. Should we try this out right now? I feel like this is a product that has many practical applications. 
for some people in their lives, <laughs> those people would be me. For the wine cat on the go. Okay, we're on day 16. This is a very flat package. And we have, oh, it's black cat cards. It's 10 blank cards with envelopes. They're like these little golden metallic accents right there. I needed some more little cards, little blank note cards. Day 17 today. It feels like it's fabric inside of here. I'm gonna just take a wild guess on that one. And it is fabric. And it is a kitchen towel. And I can always use a good kitchen towel. You can never have enough of those. Oh, it's an Iowa kitchen towel. Oh, I love this. And this is an Iowa print, Iowa State print inside of a heart. And it says, someone in Iowa loves me. Oh, <laughs> I will think of you guys in Iowa every time I have this in my kitchen and I'm using it. That is just so fun. I love the print. Day 18. Some tissue and bubble wrap. All right, this is Pickle Creek Herbs Pear Verbena Champagne Balsamic Infused Vinegar. This sounds absolutely amazing. This sounds so good. Okay, let's see. Welcome to Pickle Creek Herbs. We are a small organic farm in Southeast Iowa. They are in Fairfield, Iowa. And this sounds like a really good combo. Let's see if it'll focus. And it seems to be a small business, so that's great too. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. This sounds really tasty. We're getting closer to the end. Day number 19. It's flat and it's kind of lumpy. Okay, it's an embroidery project. Oh my gosh, it's a cat. Oh, look at this. Okay, it's a cat cross stitch. And I, I love cats and I love crafting, so this is perfect. I know a little embroidery, but I'm not very experienced with cross stitch. And cousin Tony, do you remember that our grandmother used to do a lot of cross stitch? Do you remember that? Thanks guys, I'm really excited to try this after the holidays um, calm down a little bit and, <laughs> and I have more time for crafting. Day number 20. Okay, it's bubble wrapped. You guys did a really good job with the bubble wrap. I have to say like everything has made it safely. <gasps> we love a good pun. <laughs> this is Bell Farm Honey and it's from Runnels, Iowa, and it's a little thing of honey. This is absolutely adorable. I love how they packaged this. And it has one of those little honey things. What are these called? Day number 21 is really heavy. I'd venture to say that this is probably a good pound. I'm trying not to read it through the, uh, through the bubble wrap. Ooh, ooh, okay, hold on, I see jam. Oh, this sounds fabulous. Clear Creek Orchard. Red Raspberry Jalapeno Jam. Our gourmet jam is made in central Iowa and is an all natural product. Ooh, I think this is gonna be really tasty. <laughs> Can you see the color on this? I'm excited. Day 22 and it's a smaller one. I think we hear bubble wrap on the inside. It's a little jar, lavender. I was just complaining about how dry and irritated my skin is. Iowa lavender. It's a lavender salve and it says it softens and smooths. Um, coconut oil, olive oil, beeswax, vitamin E, rosehip, lavender essential oil, and it is handcrafted in Ames, Iowa. We're gonna give this a smell right now. Oh, that smells delightful. Oh, this is, yeah, this will be good for my skin. This is exactly what I need right now at this moment. So you're noticing a different background and that's because I am gone for the holidays now. It is Christmas Eve today, the 24th, and I was traveling yesterday and just super busy. So I actually am going to open 23 and 24 today. I wanna to say a huge thank you to Tony, Angela, Nathan, Mia, and Haley. Thank you guys so much for this calendar. This has been so much fun to open. I appreciate just all of the time and energy and thought you put into this entire calendar. This has been so much fun. Everything has just been so well thought out and I loved the themes of the calendar too. Just an amazing gift, so thank you so much. Do you want to watch days 23 and 24 being open live? My parents are coming out here right now to watch, so got that going on. So we're opening days 23 and 24. Very exciting. Day 23, and this is a large one. This is one of the larger days on the calendar. I feel bubble wrap in here, so I'm wondering if it's another jar maybe? It seems cylindrical. It's a can. Oh, you guys shipped me wine? Dude, 
This is Tassel Ridge Red, White, and Blue Red Wine. And it's in a can. This is another Iowa company. This is Tassel Ridge Winery in Layton, Iowa. I was not expecting wine. Thanks guys. This is the final day of the advent calendar, day 24, the finale, bubble wrap. <laughs> it's a framed picture of my cousin's dog, Charlie, with a black cat toy in his mouth. <laughs> And you would, there, there is a, a video which was up on the channel, which has now been taken down, uh, which, in which I talked about um, dog toys. So um, this, this fits into that, that theme. Um, so you guys, thank you. This, this truly is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> this, that's funny. <laughs> that is really funny, guys. <laughs> And this concludes the advent calendar that my cousins in Iowa sent me this year for Christmas. Just to recap, the three themes of the calendar were Iowa, cats, and food slash cooking. If you're still watching this video, please comment down below which day was your favorite out of everything in the calendar. I don't think I could pick a favorite. I I liked everything. I was, I'm just absolutely thrilled with everything. All right, that's it. Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye.